My name's Aaron Croman, and I'm going to show you how to fatten your friends in Photoshop. Okay, so first we have uh, this uh, strapping young gentleman. A little portly, but I think we can do better. So first I'm going to use the magnetic lasso tool. And I'm going to cut them out. Because we're going to use what's called the liquify tool. And uh, so we're uh, tracing them out with the magnetic tool. Uh, the liquify tool, what it does is it kind of treats everything almost kind of like a, well, like a liquid. It, uh, you can press things around and actually preserve some of the stuff. So it, unlike the smudge tool, which will smudge things around, the uh, liquify tool uh, just kind of, it preserves it, but just kind of stretches it out. It's uh, good for kind of making a bit of a model or so. Uh, some use it for actually making yourself look skinnier. But that's no fun at all. And uh, hit delete with the magnetic tool when you want to, when you want to, uh, when you want to go back if one just kind of goes all over the place. But it's definitely doing a lot better and a lot quicker than I could do myself. And then it has that little zero, and then you tap it down, and there you go. So I'm going to use the kind of clean it up with the lasso tool. So going to hold down Alt or Option. You see that little minus sign. And cut off this area. And I'm going to hold down Shift and grab that bit of the shirt. OK, so now that we have this selected, we're going to uh, go to Edit, uh, Copy, and then we're going to hit paste. So now we have it on another layer and this way it's uh, a lot easier to uh, uh, use the next step which is to use the liquify tool. So we can uh, alter things to our heart's content. Now the reason why I had to select it uh, before is because the background kind of gets in the way and so all the pattern in the wood and all this stuff the door frame will be warping along with the rest of the body and that's what this tool does it warps things around it. I'm going to be using the forward warp tool you can also use this tool to make yourself look a little bit skinnier by kind of pushing things in rather than pulling them out uh, the only problem is that uh, you need to be able to take it from a picture that uh, you can't exactly cut it out because then you're just going to leave a big hole uh, where you used to be. And then on basically how you use it, you kind of grab and you just kind of grab. You can maybe try and get that chin back, in, push that back into place. Not moving the bones, just moving the, the, the flesh. So, so far we got a nice meaty jowl. Build up them shoulders. Now, what a lot of people do, uh, uh, professionals and uh, uh, hobbyists, uh, is that you can also make yourself look skinnier or more buffed. It's uh, you can use it for like airbrushing pictures. Uh, just watch out that you don't give them an extra leg or something like that. It happens, even to the professionals, and then they make build up websites around that. So let's make these arms big and beefy. There's a lot of other tools uh, to use. There's a, a, the bloat tool, but it's a little bit hard to deal with because it uh, bloats a little more than you want it to and just kind of makes things look a uh, funhouse mirror. Here's a little bit, just going to tap it somewhere. And it works good, but if you put too much pressure it just or use too much, it just makes things look very weird. I'm going to undo. There we go. And then you hit OK when you like what you see. And, and this picture right here turns into that. So you can kind of see the before and after. Uh, hopefully I don't put on the weight, but uh, we'll see if this is a tet litmus of what's to come. If you need help doing a diet, this is a good way to motivate yourself. <laughs> My name is Aaron Croman. 
Good luck with your art.